This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, as I mentioned at the end of my last video, um, I went and sold a bunch of stuff, and um, did a little bit of smithing. And I also made myself a, uh, a new ring, and a new amulet. And so this gear is going to last me until I have probably until I have the ability to make uh, dragon armor. So, what is there left to do? I'm going to be working on the uh, on the war quest line. But it looks like there are also a few things to do in Markarth. So I've decided to take care of uh, many of the quests in Markarth before I uh, before I start on the on the war. But after that, it shall be the war. And this is a Dragonbone uh, sword, I believe. So Dragonbone weapons, uh, they definitely give you a big edge in the uh, end game. Dragonbone armor is not actually that much better than either uh, Daedric armor for the heavy armor side, or I believe glass armor for the light armor side. Uh, it does look like my... Uh, To haggle with me. Just... Ah, no, that is the answer is simple. Orcs. Now, having an orc for a wife would be something. <laughs> Strong, bulky. Too bad they don't have people. Really. So, that dude is uh, has interesting taste. Okay, so Silver Blood Inn. I have a delivery to make here. Actually, another uh, quest line that I could do is the vampire quest line, and that one is uh, also a lot of fun. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty My of father, strong Clever drink. Is the one you want this to is to. the silver. Ah. Well, thank you for bringing it, I suppose. What? Here you are. So sorry about that. Okay, a bunch of ingots. Not all that useful, but... Did, did you hear? The Hall of the... They say Falion of Morthal has... To gain the beggar got himself kicked out of the Temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me all speak. I just might fight at your side. Watch your back, friend. Better yet, pay me to do it. I already have Chizargo to watch my back. Okay, so that is one quest done, but a, a few more quests started. So because I'm a vampire now, I am going to get notices uh, quite a lot every time I step outside. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedric. Thank you for your time. So you can join him if you like. Hey, dude, what's up? Outside, it's right there, and they have a hole. I work for them. The inn is named after them. Jarl is who you want to talk to. As long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra worshiping savages. Who practice so the Daedra are one of the two types of deities in the game. Um, this world, uh, I think it's called Mundus, and it was constructed uh, by uh, by Aedra, which are the uh, cousins of Daedra. Okay, so we have a delivery to make here. But yeah, the, the world was constructed by Aedra. The Daedra kind of, they decided not to help. And so they're shunned by m many of the people in the world, but not all of them. 
And uh, a lot of the cultures in this world uh, see the Daedra as evil and the, uh, the Aedra as good. Hmm, a most uninteresting loading screen. I do wish that they would give us something to stare at. But I think it's random. It, it cycles through a large set of things and sometimes gives you nothing. Okay, so let's see who I need to meet in here. Uh, two people from the office of the Jarl, apparently. At least it looks like that. You've done us a great service. I advise Igman the same way I advised his father. Uh, You're someone you can get anything to more to say? To have you. I'm impressed. Forsworn usually makes short work of I do. Uh, they took his shield to those Hargrave and beasts. They could. I warn you, it's dangerous work. No man of mine divines watch over you. Okay, that is another task. Retrieve that shield at all costs. And uh, I think maybe when I have that shield, I'll be able to uh, maybe when I have the shield, I'll be able to buy a property here. So the house here is pretty nice. It's not quite as uh, good, in my opinion, as um, as the house in the rift. But it's still pretty good. And let's find out what's happening in the Hall of the Dead. RK will watch over you. Even the dead need company. Okay. That's what RK provides. So we need to clean out there. Need to leave. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. Don't think you belong. Huh, I am kind of weirded out. The hunger inside of you. No, not you. You see the dead, and your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. Uh, no, not really. It is a very weird thing to it's say. All right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything. Uh huh. This got. looks like a skill book. In restoration. Sweet. And that was enough to level up. Let's do a little bit more health, and uh, let's see, what else can I get? I can't do smithing 100 yet, obviously. Um, oddly, I haven't learned enough block to, uh, to take any new skills there. One-handed is kind of tempting, and let's see, what do I have for light armor? Oh, nothing at all. This is useful, and that is definitely useful. I think I'm going to take a power shot. Uh, because quick shot is quite useful. So this causes me to stagger. I don't think you well, I don't know why you're bothering me about it. We all come into Arcade's light in the end. But there's no need to rush. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? Um, Brother or sister had died? You need no. Accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. You need to leave. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. You need to leave. Um, that is weird. A lot of our kind block out the memory of their first. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. It's inside Beachcliff Cave. Meet me there. Until then, tell the people of That is kind of disgusting and disturbing. We have bigger plans ahead. But then, I guess I am a vampire at this point. 
need to leave. You'd return. Divine's preserved. Here, take my amulet as we reward. Okay. So the whole time here, he was yelling at me to uh, to leave. So I think what happened there is that the game glitched a little bit when um, when I dragged him into the hall by entering it while he was still talking with me. And the, uh, the quest isn't really designed to accommodate that kind of... Um, it's not designed to accommodate uh, that uh, situation. So yeah, the, the game is um, buggy in parts. Okay, so what left is there to do? There's a few things to do, but I am going to... Actually, I've decided that I'm going to work on the, um, the vampire quest line. Partly that is going to be um, stylistically appropriate. And also, it's, it's a lot of fun to play with uh, Uh, it's a lot of fun to play as a vampire, so let's head over here. Stonehill seems to be the closest place where I have a fast travel marker for it. Now the downs downside of this is that I might lose my com uh, my companion Jasargo. I'm not entirely certain how this is going to work, but this might send him back to the College of Winterhold. Which is okay, because if it does, the replacement, uh, the replacement um, companion is pretty cool too. So I want to head east and probably up the mountain here. Uh, hello, Argonian. Hills warmth is a welcome change in this cold, bleak land. Ooh. Oh, and there is a dragon. Okay, so we're not going to do invisibility right now. We will summon a flame atronach. And a bound bow sounds like it would be good. Okay, so where is the dragon? It is up there. Let's also make sure that we have Unrelenting Force set, which we do. Okay. Oh, that's an Elder Dragon. Unfortunately... My being uh, a vampire now gives me a vulnerability to flame, which is no good. And he is now injured enough that he's going to have to land. And I don't think he'll be able to take off again. And we've got him. Sweet. And I have admirably few pounds, so I'm not too near the point where I need to head back. And this is another dragon soul for me. Yeah, so Flame Atronox, they're fun. They, they won't take a lot of um, beating, but they have uh, great uh, ranged attacks. They pretty much just throw uh, firebolts at your foes. Whereas uh, Ice Atronox, while they do have the ability to shoot um, ice uh, icicles, Whatever they're called, they um, they won't do it that often. So I'm hoping you guys have a maid that's willing to sweep all that off. Okay, so east, I am heading off to the cave, where sometime 
several episodes ago, I was asked to check this uh, this stuff out. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, it's pretty much just straight ahead. Unfortunately, I'm looking up the hill, so it might be a little bit tricky for me to find this place, but let's... At some point, I'm going to have to head upwards. Maybe I should just start taking care of that now. Is it that cave right ahead of me? Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. The, the, um, the compass doesn't look like it's being all that accurate. But it might just be this cave that I'm practically on top of. So let's keep hopping up the mountain. I'll be hopping up the mountain when I come. I'll be hopping up the mountain while I come. Okay, getting kind of near, hopefully, where I want to be. I have no idea whether the game designers intended this kind of thing to be possible. And admittedly, I spent a lot more time doing this kind of thing when I first got it. I was just really amused that you can uh, you can use Skyrim pretty much as a mountain climbing simulator. Even though I'm sure that real mountain climbing is not a lot like this. Okay, so there's a torch, and here is an entrance. Okay, so I'm in a cave and vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of the lesson of their hall. Okay, so there are other vampires ahead. He fought well. Left hand and right hand. Jet on and press off when they're matching. Ha! It was too deserved that they got to. Their arrogance had become insufferable. So I don't see who's talking. Perhaps another will But I do see a vampire dog. So let us Okay, that is one fewer vampire dog to worry about, and looks like they have gone to check out what happened to the vampire dog, and I got one of them. Yeah, this is what happens when you get your sneak skill high enough. They really have a tough time uh, figuring out where you are, and you can just pretty much stand there and shoot at them until they get very close. Of course, uh, Jusargo or any other companion you have can kind of ruin that. These are some more vampires that vampires and vigilance. So the vigilance were the kind of irritating preachy guys that we saw earlier. Magic sword.
And there is my friend Jazargo. Yeah, so this is a um, an area in the game where you really do have a big choice to make. You can either decide to side with the vampires or side with the uh, Dawn Guard. Yeah, the day uh, the game does get kind of easy when you get enough enough skill with uh, with sneak and uh, and the right perks, because you'll be doing most of your killing just hanging back and firing arrows. And I think I've reached the the necessary level of, of perk with with each of them to usually just be able to take care of uh, everything without a lot of trouble. particularly given um, given my skill choices and the uh, and the enchantments that I have on my uh, gear at this point okay let's keep on moving So it looks like the Draugr and the Vampires are actually fighting down there. And that is the fun of having, uh, of being able to summon uh, Atronox. Atronox yeah, so Flame Atronox, they're typically killed pretty quickly. They're not that tough. But they are a lot of fun. Okay, so these are some gates in this room. And it looks like there's a chest here. And this chest is not that easy to open. Is it far left, maybe? Don't think so. So let's try moderate right. A little bit further right. Okay, it's somewhere in that region. Let's try... This is the beginning of that line. Oh, is this it? No, not quite. But it's near there. So you can see, like, in the middle of the lock here, uh, there's a, a black squiggle. Let's go a little bit past the beginning and see if that's right. No, it's... Not, we were actually closer before, so it's close to the start of the squiggle. Let's try the big part here. No. So it's definitely n near the beginning. But not quite there. Let's try a little bit before... Okay, it's not before the squiggle gets dark. Let's see if it's right at where the squiggle gets dark. No, a little bit past that, and we've got it. But I am running low on, um, I am running low on lock picks, so at some point I might need to uh, stop opening chests unless I can in increase my supply somehow. Okay, there's a chain that looks like it leads further into the, uh, further into the cavern. Let's see what's down here. Ah yes, it's this room. This room where there are some undead and there seems to be a person way over there that I just easily took out with the bow. And 
Yeah, just a bunch of skeletons. These guys are easy. Although, Jazargo's insistence on using sparks, this is something that I hope to fix with that mod that I installed, but it doesn't seem like... Well, that's neat. So the ripples in the water actually are pretty realistic. I'd hoped that the mod I in uh, installed would have fixed that, but apparently not. Oh, that spider's dead. And that vampire is not. Well, now she is. And yeah, vampire armor, it is quite weight cost efficient. Well, at this point, I don't need to worry so much about that. Hello? Whoa, there's a person somewhere. Chest. Let's see, is this booby trapped? No. Good. Doesn't have much of interest in it, though. So I don't know why, but I've long found that here we go clip to be uh, hilarious. I think it's... each race has a recording of Here We Go. But I think that's the, the Breton version of uh, Here We Go. Okay, and that is the end of that vampire. I guess I could light up the area to see where the corpse is, but it's not that interesting. Let's just keep on moving. The reason I did that is I wanted to know if there's any chance that the uh, that the vigilant uh, can be saved. Because previously, uh, uh, in previous runs, I've just kind of snuck into the area and given them time to uh, kill him. I think. And this time, by shouting into the air, I alerted them immediately. So maybe he'll be alive. Although. Apparently not. Oh, curiosity satisfied. Ouch. So that is pretty nasty. Oops, I did not mean to grab that steel battle axe. Anyhow, so this is kind of a, a goofy and simple puzzle where you just have to um, to push uh, the braziers uh, back or forth until they light up. 
it's, it doesn't really even amount to a puzzle. I'm kind of disappointed in Bethesda here that they didn't decide to make this into a proper puzzle. But on the other hand, there are some games that take that way too far and you end up having just a few gamers who never really that never really understand uh, how to do the puzzle. So So I can't imagine how much machinery was needed to do something like that. Beep. Dead body. No, not quite. Living body. And she... Where is... Who sent you here? She is a vampire. I was expecting someone from my family. I don't recognize you. Are you one of my father's little acolytes? He's a very powerful man. Or he was at one point. I'm surprised another vampire hasn't heard of him. You think I can't tell my own kind? I smelled you almost before my eyes were open. That's... but if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family. My family used to live on an island. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully, it's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who... Let's just say that my mother and father... Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different. Yes, it is. And it's mine. <laughs> Nothing can destroy an Elder Scroll. Worry more about protecting your... Good question. I... I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of... Empire? What? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Okay, so... Now for this brief bit of time... Shouldn't we keep moving? I really want to get back home. For this brief period of time, you actually have two followers. I think. Yeah. So, we are going to continue up this way. And we are being attacked by gargoyles. And... Sweet. So gargoyles, they are kind of weird in that they drop um, metals when they're killed, or, or uh, stones rather, uh, ores. I should uh, I should just say ores, which is kind of cool if you haven't yet taken Smith to uh, level one hundred. So both her and Jazargo are, are primarily spellcasters. So yeah, this is a fun time in the game when you actually uh, have. Two spellcasters backing you up. Uh, I should probably light up the way so I can see where we're going. Okay. Ooh. Gold. And a coin purse. Oh wait, is that another coin purse? It might be another coin purse. Oh, do I have? Oh yeah, and Serana can bring things back to life. And I have a summoned um, Flame Atronach. And let's just get ready to summon another one when that one runs out. We will continue forward. And uh, out. Well, is this the way out? Maybe it's not. There are a whole bunch of tombs here. Ooh, treasure chest. Has uh, just 29 gold in it, though. 
Yeah, the sad treasure chest. Okay, so here's a lever. Let's pull the lever and. Yeah, when I, when I'm act, when I actually have two followers, there's not a lot that the um, something smells foul. Not a lot that the game can do to uh, to hold me back. Okay, some more undead foes to fight if I want to. And here is a word wall. So that is not the most useful, uh, not the most useful uh, shout. Let's just keep on moving. I think both of them will end up being tele teleported to me when I make it out. So she wants me to take her to her home, which uh, was added by. Uh, ah, it's so good to breathe again. And his uncle has heard of the staff of Magnus. Once you are done with it, perhaps you will allow Jazargo to borrow it. So we are going to head up to where that is, which is somewhere way up here. So, we'll do f a fast travel to here, and then we're going to have to very carefully jump down the, uh, the mountain uh, to make it uh, to the coast. That is a pretty epic lo uh, looking axe. So northwest, I think that's the direction we want to go. And you'll remember earlier in the game I was spamming um, the muffle spell. At this point, I'm going to try and uh, spam uh, summon spells. We will try to learn any convenient uh, place markers that we uh, we pass on the way out here. So I don't have any need to be in Lost Echo Cave, but let's keep on moving. I'm not sure if summoning when there aren't any enemies nearby actually gives you any experience. Just a, uh, a troll. I guess there's also a problem in that. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've ever noticed this before. So this. Yeah. That's another frost troll. A 
I just want to have two followers and I'm summoning creatures that can uh, toss firebolts at my foes. No enemy is going to last long enough for me to really do a lot. So I'm still heading northwest. I think that castle up there is the marker for... Uh, I think that's the map marker for Castle uh, Volokar. But there is a cave right around here. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we can make it down without plummeting to our death. And hopefully also without having our either of our followers plummet to their deaths. Well, actually, Serana can't die, which is a, a really nice thing about her as a, as a follower. She's essential for a number of quests, and so... Uh, just plain isn't uh, isn't possible to kill her. Uh, no, this is not Castle Holocar, It's another castle. Oh, this is um, a Thalmor uh, hangout up here. Now it does seem. Listen, hold on to it. Huh. Okay. Now it seems like a pretty unlikely place for Thalmor to hang out because um, high elves they live on a tropical island uh, way south, uh, way south of uh, Skyrim. Let's just head up and say hi to him. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. Shame on you. <laughs> don't think I've ever seen. Uh, don't think I've ever heard that before. But let's go ahead and not start a fight that we don't want to do. I'm not collecting those for a quest anymore, but that's it. Out there to the north. I used to keep a floor around here to get down back. Perhaps this boat. So let's hop in the boat. And as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to join the vampires because I'm already a vampire and it seems like it would make sense to uh, pick their side. Also, it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Now, there are, are a lot of interesting questions about the ethics of, of vampiricism which have parallels to But yeah, as I'm already a vampire, it would be definitely in character to take that to the next level. And that is what we're given an option to do here. The other option would be to stick with the Dawn Guard and, uh, and go th through a bunch of quests to hunt vampires. The advantage of, of going Dawn Guard is that if you really like crossbows, you get the ability to make much more awesome crossbows, and the Dawn Guard quests are pretty fun. You have to basically go and help them recruit people and um, head through a bunch of vampire-related uh, hunting quests. And you still do most of it with Serana. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? So that's Is that what a high elven vampire looks like. I cannot believe my eyes. My 
my lord. Everyone! Serana has returned. I can't believe it. So, uh, my long she lost is his, his daughter. At last. I trust you have my elders. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have this one. Of course, I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon. By now, my daughter would have told you not just vampire. For centuries we lived here, far from the... You have died. There is but one gift. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. You contracted a disease, perhaps. But you are no true vampire. Except, refuse me and I will banish you from this castle. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! So it actually looks like it hurts when he does the transformation. Be still. Awake at last. Good. Power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield it. So this is vampire orientation. With my guidance, you will become. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the vampire lord. Assume the mantle of the vampire lord, and we will continue. So this is. Definitely a fun power. So you use that just like you would a shout. Use the power of the ancient clouds to transform the In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats. You can still jump, even though the way that run out of magic, you can descend to the ground. Even though the way that you move around is uh, is floating above it. Do so now, and we will continue. So I drop down and I'm on the ground now. on the ground. Good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your Okay, so let's look at... You have a separate perk tree. And, uh, yeah, all of these improve the... Uh, you either get new, new skills that you can assign to your left hand, or you get intrinsics that just make being a vampire more awesome. There is much to learn. But if you master the powers of the vampire lord, Few will be able to Another benefit of being a vampire lord is when you're overburdened. Uh, when you're overburdened, you move at the same speed. There is one last thing. 
slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle should you need to feed like the base of vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. Good. Go and speak to Garen Narethi. Tell him it is... I'm... He can understand. Okay, so... Anytime you want to, you can change to or from uh, your vampire form. It does take you a little bit of time uh, to do so. But... Yeah, if you ever get uh, overburdened, it does uh, make sense to uh, shift into vampire form if you absolutely must keep whatever you're, uh, whatever you're doing. Now, where did Chisargo go? Hey. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. You'll be a welcome addition to the court, I'm sure. If I may, let me offer you a piece of advice. Be careful who you trust. Not all of us have the court's best interests at heart. Ortheof, for example. He'll tell you he means well, but believe me, he can't be trusted at all. So there's rivalries among the vampires. And they play a uh, minor part in the uh, quests uh, here. So, in order to advance this quest line, we need to head over here. Now, you can you can buy things from uh, from these guys. Uh, he's not the right person. One of these guys has particularly useful um, spells. To help if I can. Okay, so heal undead and necromantic healing are kind of handy. Or I, I guess heal undead, it's more powerful. We'll take that one. All right then. Theron is so good to me. Of course, it is my duty to serve, and I'm happy to do it. Okay, five more. Trainings and speech, certainly expensive things. I wonder if I have anything I can tell him to get some of that, uh, get some of that back. Um, obviously not enough to get much of it back. But a moderate amount. Actually, if I can enchant some of this... Oh, I don't see an enchanting table here. I guess I'll just keep selling. I hope I have something that interests you. I always wish to be of service. Okay, that isn't too bad. Thank you. I'll be going. And up here is the person who we've been assigned to talk with. Lord, now what is our Lord's... Well, you've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? No. Don't. The Chalice, he has neglected you. Follow me. Lord Harkon has... Okay, so this starts this quest line. ...on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change, if you'll excuse me. Not sure what that sound is. But yeah, Jazargo, I'm not sure where he went. He might have just returned to the College of Winterhold while I was knocked out. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Yeah, so these two don't like each other Our very much. Here ...has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. She's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Then Galmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. 
I'm sure they're quite surprised. And if you like, you can actually bring one of those uh, Here we are. undead dogs with you. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of red water den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Red Water Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. So these guys don't much like uh, other um, other vampires. And frequently they they want to have um, minor vampires killed uh, in these quest lines, which is kind of a goofy thing. So you're actually uh, hunting vampires no matter which way you choose. But yeah, that seems like a pretty good breaking point uh, for this um, for this episode. So I will see you in the next one. This has been a Let's Play of Skyrim. Oh, Chisargo is back. Looks like he was just waiting outside.